Slow music works. Music works. Let's play fast music. Yay! We're walking to visit Drum. Drum. 
drum. Yay! Drum, listen to our slow music.
Play the listening game? Mm-hmm. I do, I do. My magic paintbrush is ready, too. Okay, then. Let's play. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Let's listen to it again. What could it be, Bonnie? Sounds like a bird. Yes, a bird. That's right. Okay, now I'm going to play another sound for you. Ooh, did you hear that? Let's listen to it again. What could it be? I know. That's a bear. A bear. That's right. Okay, now I'm going to play another sound. Get ready. Did you hear that sound? Let's listen to it again. So, what could it be? I think I know. The wind blowing through the trees. Wind in the trees. That's right. Bonnie, let's listen to the sounds again. There. Wind in the trees. <laughs> so, Bonnie, can you guess where you can hear those sounds? I can, I can. Whee! Those are sounds from a forest. That's right, Bonnie. A forest. <laughs>
my favorite shape. Red is for strawberries and big reindeer noses. Yellow for sunshine and even some roses. I love all colors. I think they're the best. So come join us all in our big color fest. Petey the paintbrush. Hi, I'm Petey the paintbrush. I love to paint using all different colors, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. What's your favorite color, Petey? A favorite? I don't have just one favorite color. I love them all. I choose colors by what I feel like painting that day. What do you want to paint today? Hmm, today I feel like painting... Mm, 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 mm. Grape juice! What color should I use to paint grape juice? Today I'm going to paint with purple and I'm going to start by painting grape juice. Purple grape juice is yummy in your tummy. Someone drank all the grape juice. What else can I paint with purple? I know! A pretty purple purse to carry things in. I can use purple to paint a sofa too! Watch this! Comfy purple sofa! You know what else you can paint with the color of purple? A royal robe! A purple robe fit for a king! Today, I painted with purple. I made... Yummy! Grape juice. A pretty purple purse. A comfy purple sofa. And a royal purple robe. I bet you can find something purple to paint today, too. I love color. Oh, yes, I do. I love them all. Do you love colors too? Bye bye! Silence. It's a nice thing at 2 in the morning. Welcome to night programming from Baby First TV. Soothing and relaxing programs that can help put your little angel to sleep. Developed by educational experts, shows like Night Night Lullaby create a tranquil environment by using famous lullabies coupled with real children's drawings. Our night programs offer you that gratifying parent-child experience known as sleep. Night programming, every night, only on Baby First TV.
snack. Once upon a time, there was a green grasshopper who liked to hop in a green grassy meadow. One day, he found a big green hill on which to hop. He hopped high. He hopped low, and he bounced some too. Suddenly, a head popped out from the hill. It was a green turtle. Excuse me, said the turtle. Can you please not jump on my back? It's hard to sleep. After this, the green turtle would teach the green grasshopper how to hide. And the green grasshopper would show the green turtle how to jump. They became the best friends in the meadow. Bye. <laughs> 
Hi there, Pete. This is Franny, and this is Annie. We're practicing to go to a dance together. We're getting really good. Hmm. Teddy the Duck, I'm counting animals on the farm today. Could you please tell me how many ducks are dancing right now? I'd love to help you count, Peep. Follow our steps. Four ducks are dancing, Peep. One, two, three, four. One duck, two ducks, three ducks, four ducks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Let me try and count four ducks. One, two, three, four ducks. Teddy is one. Uh, Eddie is two. Franny is three. And Annie makes four. I got it. Four ducks. I counted four ducks. Well done, Peep. You counted four ducks. Four dancing ducks. One duck, two ducks, three ducks, four ducks. I did it! I counted four ducks. Four dancing ducks. One, two, three, four. Four ducks. Thank you, everybody. See you later. <laughs> I get it! Hey! I see my friends Henry and Lily the geese. And they're two great geese. I'll go say hi. Hello, Peep. Tell me something. Do you listen to your mother when she tells you not to go swimming when you have a cold? You see? Peep listens to his mother. That's why Peep isn't sneezing. That's why Peep's beak isn't so red that it looks like it's about to fall off. Sorry, Peep. What can I do for you, sweetie? Hmm. Would you help me count animals, Lily the Goose? Please tell me, how many geese are outside the pond? You're a good chick, Peep, so I'll tell you. The answer is four. Four geese are outside the pond. One, two, three, four geese. Henry, Lily, little Molly, and little Polly. <laughs> Can I try now? Four geese. That's one goose, two geese, three geese, four geese, right? One, two, three, four. Four geese. I got it. Four geese are outside the pond. You're a smart little chick you are. That was four geese you counted. Four geese. One, two, three, four geese. Four geese outside the pond, sneezing, 
and blowing their beaks. I did get it, Lily. Thank you. I counted up to four. One, two, three, four. Four geese. Thank you so much. Bye now. <laughs> Today, I counted up to four. One, two, three, four. Tomorrow, I will count some more. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hi, Peep. How was your day, dear? So much fun! I counted animals today, Mommy. First, I counted four ducks. One duck, two ducks, three ducks, four ducks. And then I counted four geese. That's one goose, two geese, three geese, four geese. It was so much fun counting up to four today, Mommy. My, my, what a busy day you had. Now answer me this, Peep. How many Peeps does Mommy love? One! There's only one Peep Mommy loves, and that's me. That's right. Mommy loves one peep. One and only one. You. Guess what? Harry the Bunny, now on weekdays too. Hello, friends. Welcome to my playroom. My favorite place in the whole world. <laughs> Harry the Bunny. He's smart, playful, and very curious. Children love to play along with him and discover all sorts of new ideas. Is it a little house? Huh. He's always trying something different, learning new words, it's broccoli. making new discoveries, or just making himself laugh. <laughs> little ones will expand their social skills and their vocabularies as they experience and learn about life right along with the sweet and very funny Harry the Bunny. See you soon. From now on, catch Harry the Bunny each and every day on Baby First TV. It sounds 
looks like an animal that you might find on a farm or climbing mountains. Meh, meh. Do you know what animal sounds like that and lives on a farm or in the mountains? I know. A goat. It must be my friend Gabby the goat at the door. Some people call goats billy goats. Has a silly billy goat come to visit, Tilly? <laughs> meh, meh. Yes, I have. Meh, meh. I was right. That is my friend Gabby the goat. Meh, meh. Hi, Tilly. Meh, meh. You know how I knew it was you, Gabby? I remembered that goats say meh, 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 meh. You're right, Tilly. We do. Meh, meh. We figured it out. It was my friend Gabby the goat at the door. I'm glad you came over to play with me. Come by again. You never know who will visit next time. Meh, meh. <laughs> bye bye. Red, a red telephone. Red, a red flower. Orange, orange carrots. Orange, orange juice. Yellow, yellow bananas. Yellow, a yellow sun. Green, a green dinosaur. Green, a green train. A blue bird. Blue, a blue shirt. Purple, a purple rabbit. Purple, purple grapes. Black. White. Brown. Black. White. Black, a black circle. Black, black shoes. White, 
a white snowman. White, white clouds. Brown, a brown cat. Brown, a brown teddy bear. What color is the snowman? What color is the snowman? White, the snowman is white. What color is the rabbit? What color is the rabbit? Purple, a purple rabbit. What color is the bird? What color is the bird? Yellow, a yellow bird. What color is the apple? What color is the apple? Red, the apple is red. What color is the juice? What color is the juice? Orange, orange juice. Count teapots. One teapot, two teapots, three teapots, four teapots, five teapots, six teapots, seven teapots, eight teapots. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight teapots. That's great counting, everyone. See you soon on Number Time. Always to me. It's bright in here. Uh-uh. I don't think so, Peanut. Yeah, it is. I think I'll turn the lights off. Lights off. Much better. Peanut, now it's too dark in here. I'm going to turn the lights back on. Lights on! That's more like it. Hmm. No way! Too bright! Lights off! Off! Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think so. Lights on. On. Lights off. Off. Lights on. On. Off. On. Fine. Really? Not really. <sighs> we may never be the same, but we love the opposite thing. Rabbits love to eat carrots. <laughs> Rabbits have big floppy ears. <laughs> Rabbits can hop really far. about rabbits before, but now we know lots more. the grand piano back in its place? Uh-uh. Try again. You'll get it right. Well done. You got it right. <laughs> now let's see if you can fit the keyboards back on the board. You did it again! You put the keyboards back on the board. But, can you fit the shape of the accordion back in its place? Uh-uh. Let's try again. You can do it. You did it! You put the accordion back on the board. <laughs> now, one last shape is left. What about the harmonica? I bet you could find its place as well. Well done! Look at the board. You've managed to put all the different shapes back in their correct places. <laughs> Congratulations! A grand piano, keyboards, 
an accordion and a harmonica. All the shapes are back in their correct places on the board. Goodbye, sun. Goodbye, moon. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. <laughs> Strawberries. One strawberry. Two strawberries. Three strawberries. Four strawberries. Five strawberries. Six strawberries. Seven strawberries. Eight strawberries. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight strawberries. That's great counting, everyone. See you soon on Number Time. Time. Time to meet Tog. Hello. Time to meet Tizzy. Hello. Time to meet. Who do you think? Me, me, me. Time to meet Toot. Hello. <laughs> Tog, Toot, and Tizzy Mouse. The three little mice in the TikTok house. All coming out to play. Hooray! Tog, Toot, and Tizzy Mouse, the three little mice in the TikTok house. Tog, Toot, and Tizzy too. We come to play with you. Tog, Tizzy, and Toot, 
Hooray, hooray, hooray! Toot, Tizzy, and Tog, what are we going to play today? Hooray! <laughs> 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 what game can we play today, Tog? Well, I've got a game. Hooray! Hooray! But I don't think you and Toot will be able to play it. Why not? Because it's a game where you're not allowed to talk. Not allowed to talk? What? Not even a word? Nope. And the one who doesn't talk for the longest is the winner. That's easy! Yeah, if I just close my mouth, no words will come out, and I'll be very, very, very quiet. Not as quiet as me, though, Toot. I'll be extra quiet. Come on, then. I'll count to three, and after that, we must be quiet. Okay? As, as quiet, quiet as, as mice. mice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Have we started? You spoke! So did you, Tizzy! And now you spoke too, Tog! Only because you spoke! But I only spoke because Toot spoke! And I didn't know we'd started! Oh, let's play again! And this time, no talking! Are we ready? Aha! Very good! Now I'll start too! After three! One, two, three! <laughs> Stop it, oh no, I've spoken. That's not fair. Oh yes, it is. Oh no, I've spoken too. <laughs> that just leaves Toot then. You're the winner, Toot. Yeah, nice job, Toot. 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 Hmm. I bet I can get to to talk, Tizzy. Watch this. <gasps> Look, everyone. There's an elephant. Oh, yeah. A big elephant, Todd. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Elephant. elephant. Oh, you won't get me like that, Tog and Tizzy. I'm not foolish. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you talk. talk. Oh, no! Never mind. You're still the winner, Toot. That's right. You're the winner. Nice job. Hooray! And what does the winner get, Tog? A big hug! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> What time is it now? It's, it's crazy, crazy crayon, crayon time! Crazy crayon, crazy crayon, spin around for me! Draw something for us to see. Can we guess what it will be? One, One two, two, three, wee! What, what is, is it? It looks like a triangle. And another triangle. Three triangles. A circle. They look like plates. With pieces of cheese on them. Yum, yum. yum. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Crayon's almost finished. What is it? Crazy Crayon is setting the table! <laughs> Look! Wow! Scrumptious! Delish! Come on! It is cheese! Hooray! Hooray! But why are we having dinner on the ground? Because Crazy Crayon has drawn us a picnic, see? A picnic? Yes! A picnic is when you take a blanket and your food and plates and eat outside in the garden. Or in the park. Or at the beach. That sounds good. So, let's all go on a picnic! Yeah! yeah. We 
we're going on a picnic. A little picnic. And oh, 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 we hope the sun's gonna shine. Cause we're going on a picnic. A little picnic. Maybe we'll walk in the park. Sit on the garden, wouldn't that be a lark? Take a trip out to the countryside To see what we can find We got a picnic feeling Picnic feeling Picnic feeling We're in a picnic kind of mood We got a picnic feeling Put down the cloth We got a picnic feeling Open the box Picnic feeling What have we got? All of our favorite food We got a picnic feeling Sit on the ground Picnic feeling, gather around. around. A picnic feeling, what have we found? Would anyone like some cheese? We've got a picnic feeling, put down the cloth. We got a picnic feeling, open the box. We got a picnic feeling, what have we got? Who wants a picnic? Who wants a picnic? Who wants a picnic? Yes, yes please! please. Is it now? Once upon a time. It's once, once upon, upon a time. 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 <laughs> <sighs> when Marvel the Magician moved into his new house, he found that the garden was like a jungle. Nobody had looked after it for a long, long time. But Marvo didn't mind this. He liked gardening. I do hope you are going to tidy it up. This was Mrs. Busy Lizzie, Marvo's next-door neighbor. It is such a disgrace. I'll get it nice and clean soon, said Marvo. A bit of a snip here and a prune there. A bit of a snip? It'll take more than that, said Mrs. Busy Lizzie. Now, my garden, I've spent years working on this. We have a garden competition, you know. I always win first prize. I'll tell you what, said Marvo. I'll enter the garden competition and win first prize, too. All right, said Mrs. Busy Lizzie. And I bet you that you don't. You see, the competition is tomorrow. She cackled and disappeared behind the fence. Tomorrow, oh. thought Marvo. I'd better get cracking. So he got out all his garden tools, his wheelbarrow, shovel, fork, shears, and lawnmower. Marvo wondered where he should start first. The grass, perhaps, or maybe he should cut those bushes back. It was a warm, sunny day. The bees were buzzing, and it wasn't long before Marvo began to yawn. And then his eyes began to close, and soon he was snoring his head off. He slept all afternoon and into the evening, and he only woke when it was about to get dark. Oh, no, I've slept the whole day away, cried Marvo. That competition is tomorrow. I shall have to work all through the night. But when he went to pick up his shovel, it wasn't there, nor the fork, or the shears. All of his tools, except his wheelbarrow, were gone. That's strange, Marvo said. I'm sure I left them all right there. Never mind. There's only one thing to do. I will have to use my magic wand. And he began to think about a good spell to tidy up a garden. By now, it was quite dark. Oh. Marvel lifted his magic wand above his head to cast the spell, and he was just about to say the magic words when he felt the wand disappear. Hey, he shouted, I do the magic around here. There's something funny going on, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Marvel went into his house, found a flashlight, and came out again. He crept through the undergrowth, shining his light to show him the way. He hadn't gotten very far when he found a hedgehog underneath the rose bush, curled up and fast asleep on top of his garden shears. That's where they've gone, said Marvo. Further on, he found his shovel leaning against a tree with some rabbits playing around it. And at the very bottom of the garden, he found his lawnmower with a fox sitting on it. The fox looked at Marvo with its yellow eyes, and Marvo looked back. I get it said Marvo. You animals have hidden all my tools because you don't want me to change the garden. This is your home. Hoot, hoot. 
Marvel shined his light up a tree, and on a branch, clutching Marvel's magic wand, was a barn owl. All right, said Marvel. You win. I'll leave the garden as it is. And with that, the owl dropped the wand into Marvel's hand. I'll never win the garden competition now, he thought. But at least those animals won't lose their homes. <laughs> what time is it now? It's puzzle time! <laughs> <laughs> What's the puzzle? What do we have to do? I don't know. There are no pictures on these pieces. Look. Maybe we have to count them. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six. Done it. Six blocks. <laughs> but no pictures. Maybe we've got to build something, Todd. Or turn them into something. Hey, turn. That's an idea, Tizzy. Come on. Maybe we have to turn the blocks around. Here it goes. Whee! There's a picture there. See? I was right. It's a shovel, Todd. Shovel? Yeah. Shovels are for digging, Toot. I like digging. I like digging, too. Um, what are we digging? We're digging in the garden. Turn the others around, Toot. There might be more pictures. Okay, I'll turn this one. There. Look, it's a comb, Tog. <laughs> Not a comb. I think it's a rake. But what do you do with a rake, Tog? You use it in the garden to make a great big pile of leaves like this. See? Rake, rake, rake. Oh. Let's turn another block around. Okay, my turn. Oh no, it's another shovel. Now we've got two of them, Tog. So that must be what the puzzle is. What? We've got to find two pictures that are the same. Well, we'd better find another rake then. How about this one? Oh no, it's not a rake. It's a... Teapot. That's not a teapot, Toot. It's a watering can. Splish, splash, splash. Look at me. I'm watering the flowers. And so am I. <laughs> Whoops. What happened? My feet were getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Toot. We've got to find another rake. Right. Um, which one, I wonder? Mousy, mousy, cheesy chunk. Where does an elephant wave his trunk? That one. <gasps> yeah! It's a pear! So this last one must be... another watering can. There! Two watering cans, two rakes, and two shovels. Now we can play gardening, of course. Come on, everybody! One, One, two, two three. three! This is the way we dig with a shovel, dig with a shovel, dig with a shovel. This is the way we dig with a shovel all around the garden. This is the way we dig with a shovel, dig with a shovel, dig with a shovel. This is the way we dig with a shovel all around the garden. I'm gonna rake the leaves up. This is the way we rake the leaves, rake the leaves, rake the leaves. This is the way This is the way we rake the leaves, rake the leaves, rake the leaves. This is the way we rake the leaves all around the garden. Now it's my turn. <laughs> this is the way we water the flowers, water the flowers, water the flowers. This is the way we water the flowers all around the garden. This is the way we water the flowers, water the flowers, water the flowers. This is the way we water the flowers all around the garden, all around the garden. <laughs> What time is it now? Turn it on, turn it on! 
It's TV time! <laughs> oh, they're out in the garden. She's got a shovel. Put the soil in the pot. Taking their pots. They're putting them out to grow. Pretty flowers. Yeah, they're planting the flowers in the flower box. Lots of pretty colors. There's a red one! And a yellow one! Water the flowers! So, so they can make they grow! Bye-bye! Grow. <laughs> bye bye. Uh-uh-uh! Not yet! No? Tidy up first! Tidy, Tidy up, up first. first! Everything is put away until another day. Hooray! Tidy, Tidy! For today. Goodbye, Tog. Bye bye. Goodbye, Tizzy. Bye bye. Goodbye, Toot. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. I don't know. You tell me. Sure, son. What do you see? Huh? Hmm. Uh... Go on. Aha! It's from a pirate's adventures on the high seas. It's a sword. Nope. Try again. No. Uh -huh. No. 
now, do you know? Well... Ah, we feed them to the bunnies at the zoo! A carrot! No, Daddy, you're wrong again. Really? What do you think now, Daddy? Huh. Um... It's, uh... Oh! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got tell it! Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! I can be slow to guess, but not as slow as what you just drew! A snail! No, Daddy, no! Here are her antenna and her beautiful wings. It's a butterfly. Oh. <sighs> Aha! Daddy, wait. Yes? I bet you know what this is. Huh? <laughs> I know what that is. A heart. <laughs>
Snoozles, when we're done making dreams for the night, would you like to go to Pillow Park with me for the Shushy Bye dance? Oh, it sounds great, Dozy. I'd love to. Hmm, it's such a wondrous night to go dancing. Oh, I can hardly wait for tonight's Shushy Bye dance in Pillow Park. <laughs> I dig it when the Shushy Bye dream band plays Pillow Park Rock. Sushi number one says the sushi number two. Here's what I think we ought to do. Let's rock, rock. Let's head on down to Pillow Park. Well, it's rock, rock, rock in Pillow Park tonight. Sushi number two says the sushi number three. Come on out, go rockin' with me. Well, let's rock. Well, it's a rock, 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 and in pillow box tonight. Oh! Shushy number three says a shushy number four. We're having such fun, let's rock some more. Well, let's rock. Shushy, Mommy. Well, I know Z's here sure likes to sleep a lot. That's for sure. Why does Z's like to sleep? Well, Z's knows that sleeping helps your body grow strong. It helps you grow strong bones and muscles, and it helps you fight getting sick. Z's sure is smart, Mommy. <laughs> Have you told the Shushies your dream wish for tonight? Just tell your dream wish to a star then the star will race to Shushy Bye and give it to the Shushies. Michael, I want to dream about Snoozles visiting me in my room. Wow, Naja, that's a great dream wish. And that's the Shushy Bye Baby show for today. So pleasant dreams, and from all the Shushies and Shushy Bye, Shushy Bye and good night. Shushy Bye and good night. Shushy Bye and good night. I said, oh my, 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 my. I said, oh my, my, a shushi bye. I said, oh my, my, shushi bye. All the dreams are made for you. Dreams that last the whole night through. So hold my hand and close your eyes. We're on our way to Shushi Bye. I said, Oh my, my, Shushi Bye. I said, Oh my, my, Shushi Bye. I said, Oh. Above Jungly Village, the cold mountaintop was blanketed by snow and covered in a cloud. The young junglies never climbed up there because they heard about a mysterious creature that lived near the clouds. But one day, the junglies met the creature face to face. It was the day of the avalanche.
What's an avalanche? It's when something disturbs a big rock and pushes other rocks down, too, and they all come crashing down the mountainside. I've never seen an avalanche. Let's go. So, with Marvin in the lead, the junglies made their way to the mountain. Except for a few insect noises and bird calls, the jungle was absolutely quiet. Whoa, what was that? You know, I don't think I want to see an avalanche after all. It's about time for me to go home. Well, I'm not leaving. That noise came from inside that cave, and I'm going to see what it is. It's a monkey. Come and see. A very big monkey. No, it's a gorilla, actually. That's right. I live on the mountaintop and never come down here. But I stumbled on a rock and started the avalanche. And I think I've sprained my ankle. I can't move. Stumbled on a rock? I've never heard of a gorilla stumbling. Nobody's perfect, son. Anyway, you junglies better go home. It'll be getting dark soon, and your parents will worry about you. Yes. But we're worried about you. Oh, I'll be all right here. But if you could bring me some food and water tomorrow morning... Leave it to us. You won't go hungry. It won't be easy, Tyrone. The mountain gorilla has a very large appetite. And I don't know what they eat. Well, gorillas are like monkeys. Easy! Peanut butter sandwiches! That's it, then. We'll all get our moms to pack extra peanut butter sandwiches. Then we'll bring them to the gorilla every day until he's well again. And we'd better keep it a secret. I don't understand you at all, Tyro. You never used to eat peanut butter sandwiches for lunch. And for the last week, all these. Here's your lunchbox, Penny. With six peanut butter sandwiches. Dear Junglies, I'm feeling quite well. Thanks to all of you for saving my life. If you're ever in trouble, just whistle like this. And I'll be there. Your very good friend. I don't know what's gotten into you, class. You're late every day. And you're so tired. You'd think you walked halfway up the mountain before coming to school. So, you can all stay in at playtime and write 100 lines. What do you think of that? And an extra 100 lines for you, Marvin. I live on the mountaintop and never come down here. Your friend just told me how you saved his life. I think you've all been very generous and caring. And now I know why you were late. In fact, I declare today a school holiday. Dress, go! 
Today, I'm going to put on a magic show. But before I start, I have to get dressed in my special magician's outfit. Do you know what I should wear to dress up as a magician? Let's figure it out. Ready? Dress? Go! Okay, we've got this tall black hat and cape. And this fun, colorful uniform. So, which outfit should I wear to put on a magic show? Uniform. How about I try this fun, colorful uniform? Let's check it out. This is not the right outfit for a magician. <laughs> People in marching bands wear this outfit when they play in parades. Try this tall black hat and cape. Let's see. Right! These make a perfect outfit for putting on a magic show. I'm going to pull something out of my hat. Is it a rabbit? Bye, bunny. 
For every family, there are so many ways to have fun together. So why not take all those countless ideas for family fun and join them all? Baby First TV is proud to launch Family Fun Time, a new daily block that celebrates all the fun and bonding that parents and children can have together. 
Break a family sweat on My Gym at Home, where you and toddler can get fit and have fun. Create exciting crafts with your baby on Baby DIY. Is he funny? Sing and dance with your little ones on Swing and Sing. Let the whole family experience the magic of storytelling on Baby First Tales. So tune in to Family Fun Time and discover a place where there's more than enough family fun to go around for everyone. Family Fun Time every day at 11.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. only on Baby First TV. Go round the globe, come along for a spin. We'll march and we'll dance, let the counting begin. One, two, three, four, five. We're counting, we're dancing, we're marching along. We're learning new numbers, singing our song. Numbers around the globe. How many monkeys do I have in my exercise class today? One monkey, two monkeys, three monkeys. Wonderful! Are you three monkeys ready for our morning workout? Exercising's lots of fun. One, two, one, two, three. When we're out here in the sun. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, spread your hands. One, two, three, far and wide. One, two, one, two, three. Make sure that your shoes are tied. Now you'll sprint from tree to tree. One, two, one, two, three. On the count of one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, running fast. One, two, three, keep on going. One, two, one, two, three. See how strong your legs are growing? Tie your tails up in a knot. One, two, one, two, three. Let's play skip rope on the spot. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, skip up. One, two, three, up and down. One, two, one, two, three, this is the best game in town. Hop on one leg towards the bush. One, two, one, two, three. Take your turns and do not push. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, on one leg. One, two, three, touch your nose. One, two, one, two, three. This is how our training goes. <laughs> Monkey swing up on a bow. One, two, one, two, three. There's a competition now. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, there you go. One, two, three, vine to vine. One, two, one, two, three, make it to the finish line. Everybody, class is done. One, two, one, two, three. You did great and I had fun. One, two, one, two, three.
Samusti. The Buzzing Flower. It's spring. The sun is shining brightly, and the birds are chirping. The flowers are all starting to bloom after a long, cold winter. The trees are filled with flowers. Musti and Mommy both agree that this is glorious weather for a walk. So they go out to enjoy the fresh spring air. Musti is leading the way, but suddenly he stops in surprise. A big woolly sheep and its newborn baby stand right in front of him. Lovely day today, bleats Mommy Sheep. Hello, Musty, bleats the little lamb right after. Musty happily waves back at his friends, and is then distracted by the sound of loud whistling. He looks up to where the sound is coming from. High up in a tree, on a big branch, a bird has built its nest. Three eggs are inside the nest. The eggs hatch, and three bald baby birds appear. Did you see that, mommy? That was incredible, says Musty. Not knowing that even more surprises lay ahead. Mommy, look there! A little further on, Musti spots a cow that's standing in the green grass, and very close to her is her newborn calf. He's very happy to be standing this close to his mommy, and lets out a loud, happy moo. moving. But just then, Musti hears the strangest noise. The noise must be coming from this flower. Well, well, this flower is making the strangest sounds. I had no idea flowers could talk. Musti brings his ear up to the flower trying to hear it better. But instead, he hears something else. Musti, wait! That's not a talking flower! There is something inside. Just be careful that it doesn't sting you. As usual, Mommy was right. Musti is slightly taken aback. asks. Sting you? The bee asks. Of course not. Why would I do that? You've done me no harm whatsoever. There's no reason for me to sting you. No reason at all. Phew, that's a relief, says Musti. Because honestly, I was a little bit worried. You needn't be, buzzes the bee. And then flies away. Goodbye, calls out Musti. In the meantime, Mommy has been calling, and the two of them head back home. As he makes his way home, Musti happily thinks about the pretty flower and the buzzing bee.